for not letting my girlfriend wear a bikini in front of my family. So me, 26 male, and my girlfriend, 22 female, have been dating for two years. We've had our ups and downs, but overall, we have a great relationship and I see a future together. The thing is, we come from two different backgrounds. I have a Muslim background and she is white. However, we still have made it work and our similarities are much more than our differences. Now, my girlfriend does like wearing short clothing when out and about, which did bother me at first and made me uncomfortable, but I have came to terms with it. But recently, an embarrassing situation happened at my cousin's house. My cousin held a pool party and my parents were there too. Am I wrong for not letting my girlfriend wear a bikini in front of my family? So once again, I come from a Muslim background and she is white. There was a pool party at my cousin's house and my parents were there too. I recently introduced my girlfriend to my parents as well, so this was a good time for her to meet my family and relatives. I specifically asked her to pack something more on the modest side as my family would be there. She didn't give much of a response and just nodded. But what did I see in the pool? Her wearing a two-piece bikini, which was kind of a cheeky bottom too. Even a one-piece would have been better, but nah, she went all in this time. No one said anything afterwards, but I was so embarrassed. I couldn't even show my face to my parents at all. Her response was, I can wear what I want. Am I wrong for cooking food while my roommate's girlfriend was here and also offering? I, 21 male, am from the South and grew up cooking and helping my mom cook for the business. I was frying chicken and catfish when I could reach the stove and making gumbo and buttermilk biscuits at a very young age. And I'm also currently in culinary school. I've lived in a rented house on the East Coast with my roommate, 22 male, for a year and a half. He's good to live with and we watch shows and movies together and also hang out for drinks sometimes. He's been seeing his girlfriend, 20 male, for like six months and I've met her before in passing. She's staying here for two weeks and things have gotten a little weird. For instance, when I tried to mow, my roommate said he would, but he never has. Am I wrong for cooking food while my roommate's girlfriend was there and offering? Also, a couple of days ago, I was washing my car outside, so I asked both of them if they wanted me to do theirs. I also frequently cook at home and give my roommate some, so when I offered him and his girlfriend some, he got pissed. And weeks prior to that, she told me about a specific cheesecake that she liked, so I made it and offered it to both of them, and again, he got upset. Mind you, I thought nothing of this except for hospitality. But now my roommate's saying it's so annoying hearing his girlfriend talk about how good my cooking is. So please let me know, am I wrong? Am I wrong for giving my mom the silent treatment after she posted a video of me on anesthesia when I told her not to? I, 17 male, got my wisdom teeth pulled out last month and that sucks on its own, but my mom made it worse. I hate being recorded, I always have, and my family knows that. I've always hated the idea of being on the internet, especially those anesthesia videos of people acting all weird. Anyway, I didn't want to be seen that way at all and definitely not online. So I made this clear to my mom every day before I went in. I even reminded her the day of so many times that she told me to stop. Well, I went in, went home, woke up the next morning, and she's all like, check this out, it's so funny, and shows me a video. Am I wrong for giving my mom the silent treatment after she posted a video of me on anesthesia when I told her not to? Not only did she record me talking gibberish, she posted it on Facebook and someone in the family uploaded it to YouTube. It got a couple thousand views and that was bad enough, but someone at school found it and now everybody has seen it. I got teased about it, people shoved their phones in my face to show me, and some dude poured a carton of milk down my shirt. But that could be unrelated. The point is, school's been terrible. So I actually stopped talking to my mom. She clearly doesn't respect what I say, so screw it. Now my parents are saying I'm being childish and I'm grounded until I stop. And yes, I'm sneaking my phone to share the story. Am I wrong for telling my son I'm disappointed he invited his girlfriend to his graduation instead of me? My son is graduating next month and for some reason the school hasn't changed the policy to how it was a couple years ago. This means you only get to invite two people, no exceptions. I even called to confirm. The thing is, my son and his girlfriend have been together for three years and she's a year older so already graduated. My son had a talk with me last week and explained that since he's only able to have two people, he'd like his girlfriend to attend. And that to be honest, he just wants her and my husband there. He claims that he picked randomly between me and my husband, but I'm not so sure about that. I'm just really disappointed. Am I wrong for telling my son that I'm disappointed he invited his girlfriend to his graduation instead of me? He claims that he picked randomly which of us should stay home, but I'm not so sure about that. I told him I'll respect his decision and obviously I can't force him to change it, but I am disappointed. I explained that while this is his moment, it's something I want to be there for. 
I told him I felt that it was kind of silly to have his high school girlfriend come over one of his own parents. He got angry at that and said I wasn't taking his relationship seriously and he ended the conversation after that. My husband understands my frustration and even offered to switch, but I don't want him to miss it either. Am I wrong? Am I wrong for treating my father-in-law like a fool in public? My hubby and I were on vacation with our four-year-old son and my husband's parents came as well. We were all walking around enjoying our time and saw some teens or young adults dancing really well. My son loves music and dancing, so he was excited and practically begged us to watch them perform. They were extremely talented and my son loved it. The song and dance were pretty feminine, but two of the dancers were male. My husband and I thought nothing of this and neither did my son, but my in-laws were put off. My father-in-law looked a little disgusted for a lack of better words and was especially concerned when he noticed my son mimicking the dance. Am I wrong for treating my father-in-law like a fool in public? My son was hyped in the dancers noticed, so I guess they thanked him and engaged with him. It was such a beautiful sight and honestly the best part of the vacation. My husband told him not to swear in front of our son, but he was pissed. He said we're being brainwashed and allowing our child to turn into one of them and I rolled my eyes and said boys that dance, how scary. Of course he said that's not what he meant, so I said what, boys that dance with glitter on? Even scarier, I'm traumatized. I then asked my son if he felt traumatized, and my father-in-law said he refuses to be treated like a fool in public. Story time, karma didn't do its job fast enough, so I had to take matters into my own hands. So a little background information, my best friend Ellie had just passed away in a car crash, and for some reason these two girls, Jackie and Jayla, decided that they were going to talk shit on her all the time for no reason. Like, they had some weird, unhealthy obsession with her for no reason. Like, the one time they literally put me in a group chat just so that way I could see them talking shit about her. So, I told my best friends Christy and Megan about it, and we decided to come up with a plan to jump them. So, in the morning and after school, Jayla and Jackie would walk by my house to get to theirs. So, obviously, we weren't going to do it in the morning because nobody had the energy for that. But we got baseball bats and everything else, and we did end up using them. Like, we ran up on them after school, and we started to beat the sh out of them. I don't want this video to get taken down, so use your imagination because it was pretty bad. And both of them ended up in the ER. One girl was in a coma for the week, and the other one had a broken collarbone. They ended up pressing charges, but my thing is, this is a girl who can't defend herself, so I would have done it any- Story time. Everybody's saying that I cheated on my ex-boyfriend, but I want your guys' opinion. So, a little background information. I was a college student, and I had been with this guy who we're gonna call Jacob for about six months. Towards the end of his and I's relationship, stuff just started to get really boring, and every day I would get the ick from him. Now, at this time, also, I had gotten a new job. While I was working, I had met this guy who we're gonna call Tim. Since I was a college student, I decided to start working more, so Tim and I would see each other literally every day. Him and I really hit it off, like straight away. Not to mention, him and I had a lot of things in common, his sense of humor was great. Well, the one night before work got out, Tim asked for my number, and I said yes. However, since I was still with Jacob, I decided that I was going to break up with him before I texted Tim. So, I broke up with him. Fast forward to now, Tim and I are in a super good relationship. But now everyone's saying that I cheated on Jacob. What do you guys think?